this is Old Bull State Park. We're just kind of taking a little look around at everything. Look at this. This is <laughs> incredible. This is part of the campground that we're going to. All right, so Shannon and Karen here with Wandering Out Yonder, and today we're in Old Bull Campground. We're going to take you on a little tour. It's just a small little campground. There's more than one loop. We are on one of the loops that is still open during the winter, and they do provide electric, so we're able to camp here. It's a really pretty campground. There's the old Bull Lodge. Really cool little um, cabin, log cabin lodge. I'm guessing you can rent it. And I believe someone is renting it right now. There are some people inside there. So that's kind of neat. But it is a beautiful area. It's a small campground. It's not huge. I think there's a total of 30 sites here. And from what I understand, electric in this particular loop, um, I think there's some other campgrounds in this state park that we're in. Some are just for tent camping. And I think they have another loop for RVs that has electric and maybe even water. I'm not sure. Anyway, as you can see, it's just kind of a loop trail. There's a little dump station right there. And they're pretty bas basic sides. There's Fran. And if you look, some beautiful, beautiful tall pines. Now they typically do have firewood for sale. We are here at the end of season. So it's closed right now, so keep that in mind. If it's out of season, they might not have it available to you. Firewood, so you might have to find it somewhere else. But from what we can see, tree limbs down all over the place. You probably wouldn't even have to buy firewood. And again, as I said before, a dump station right here. And there is a water source right here. These sites do not have running water, and especially this time of year. I don't even know if the water's running right now. Do you? Okay. We brought our own water, so I don't really have to worry about it too much. As you can see, these are just tent sites over here. Or you can pull in and, with a small van or something, if you don't mind not having any electric. You can see there's sites on the outer loop and the inner loop in this campground. And again, I can't say enough about these absolutely stunning trees. Look at that. Gorgeous. Wow. Love them. I just walked through one of the campsites, one of the tent sites, and for some reason they have those closed right now, but anyway, back behind here is some water. There's a little creek or river running back there. You can hear it from here. All right, look at there. Now this is frozen over. Now the temperature today was supposed to get up to 36. Well, it did not. <laughs> I think we saw the gauge in the van go up to 32 a few times and it actually went up to 34 once very briefly for about a minute and then went smack back down to 30 degrees I would say it's below that now anyway it's beautiful out here and I'm not sure what creek we're looking at I'd have to look it up but this is a pretty little state park Anyhow, Shannon and I noticed there are some major trails that come through this area. One was uh, Black Forest Trail. The Black Forest Trail. We saw that several times along the way. Susquehannock. The Susquehannock Trail. trail. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and there's a lot of uh, ATV, ski, and snowmobile trails up in this area as well. So, um, a lot of trails, a lot of nice trails, a nice trail system which we'd be interested in some of these out here. So we probably have to come back someday. Anyhow, these are some sites that are just right along this creek that I just showed you. No electric, but they do have fire pit, picnic table, lantern hook. And you could pull an RV camper or something back in there. You just wouldn't have accessibility to power or water there. 
on these sites. But they're nice. Nice sites. Very open. Um, tree, leaves are down, so it's kind of hard for me to say what kind of shade you would have. But anyway. All right. And then on the inside loop, you see these are electric sites. And this is number nine right here. Right by the bathhouse. You can pull a decent sized camper in here. Plug yourself in. And again, fire pits, picnic table. So many of these are closed for the season. Sites 15 to 32 are open, and this is January. So that's why a lot of these are closed. I guess this campground, I didn't know it, is open year round, but I would say double check. It may change from time to time. I don't know. Um, okay. And then over to the right here, again, this is just site 10. This is a nice little site though. Just so you know. No, this is 11. I'm sorry. This site right here is 11. This one's closed right now, but in season, this would be a nice one because you could pull a camper in here or a couple of vehicles. And you would have plenty of areas to set up tents. Lots of area. And the creek runs right behind it. So that's really nice. This is a nice big site. There's no one next to you and you're backed up to the woods. All right, ladies and gentlemen, site 11. An old bull campground. It's a nice one. Right across from the bathhouse, too, so that's convenient. And then right down the road here is a playground. And there are a few pull through sites here as well. But you can see it goes, wraps around up here around this playground the road does and it looks like there might be some sites right around here as well this is campsite number 14 no electric no water it's a neat little site though and there's this playground area right here and I don't see any other sites around this loop. I think this is just a turnaround. And then the sites begin again, I believe, over here. So, yeah. And that's site 15. So, yes. They just wrap around over here. But you can see, everything's kind of frozen. It's pretty darn cold out here. So, again, some back-end sites. And I'm going to take you over into the restroom. Now, there is a site right here, number 21, and the one across from it right next to the bathhouse. There you go. So we're going to show you the bathhouse. See what that looks like. So again, we are here out of season. It's in January. And they do have the women's restroom locked. However, the men's restroom is open and available. And the family assisted one, which is, I believe, the handicapped, is open. And it's nice and clean. It's warm. Very warm. And there is a shower in here as well. So you can see, nice and clean. I would shower in here. You can see, uh, look at the uh, temperature yeah. gauge. Yeah, it's thirsty in here. It feels good. Okay, so, yep, yeah, there you go. Okay, so that's pretty much all there is to this particular loop. Um, it's a nice little campground, like I said. It's not real big. There's 30 sites. So you wouldn't be dealing with a whole lot of people around you. It's uh, wooded. Beautiful, beautiful trees. Sitting right by a pretty creek in a beautiful area. And lots of hiking trails, that sort of thing around here. Shannon is right now gathering wood for a fire. So this is a day use area um, pavilion that you can reserve here in Old Bull State Park. And it was built by the CCC. And as usual, just fantastic. Look at the stonework.
gorgeous. There is a playground here in the Deus area. It's a nice little playground. It sits right on the creek here. And it looks like there are some uh, kayak access points, maybe kayak and canoeing. And here's the dam. Just a little dam. Wow, isn't that pretty? Looks like a beach area on the other side. So this, across the bridge, there's a bridge that you drive across to get to the other campground. It is closed now, so we couldn't access it. But you can see it across the creek here. I don't know if there's electric there or not. It looks like there's some electric posts. And I know there's some tent camping. And there's another bathhouse across over there for that particular campground. And we discovered that the bathhouses here are super nice. Now we stopped here at the dam. Look at that water rushing through. Isn't that awesome? Great place for kayaking. Uh -oh. So you can only fish here if you're 15 or younger. So again, this is a really nice little state park. It's in a beautiful area. And I imagine on weekends it probably gets kind of busy here during the warmer months. But yeah, it's a pretty little area. Lots of pretty hiking, I bet. Okay, so we've parked here in Old Bull State Park Campground. And this is Site 30, I believe. There's only 31 sites in this campground. It's January. It's freezing. It's, it's below 30 degrees. I'd say it's about 28, maybe. 29 degrees getting colder anyway you, we do have electric we do have power so we can keep the van warm we have a heater in there Shannon's got a fire going we're gonna build a, a cook some food have some dinner probably crawl in for the night here pretty soon get ourselves warmed up and bundled up and we will be seeing you guys later okay everybody thanks for joining us today as we showed you around Old Bull State Park Campground. Uh, this is just one of the loops in this particular state park that's open this time of year. It's January. It's freezing. Uh, some of the sites are closed, but some of the electric sites are still open, so you can stay here. I don't know if the water's working. In the bathhouse it is. Yeah, in the bathhouse it is, and it is nice and warm in there, and it is nice and clean. So anyhow, guys, thanks for joining us here in Old Bull State Park Campground. We'll see you later. Bye.